Hi all, my name is Andrew Dean and I'm a customer success manager based out of Melbourne, Australia. Today, I'm going to show you how you can set up integration between AppDynamics and Slack. This will allow you to be alerted of AppD events in real time directly into your Slack workspace, allowing you to review, respond and collaborate with your team directly within Slack. Come into Slack and create a new channel for these alerts. You could use an existing one, but for this, I'm going to create a new one. I'll call it test and I don't need to add anyone else to it for now. And that's ready to go. The next step is to add a new application to our Slack workspace. The one we're interested in is this incoming webhooks. This will allow us to get AppDynamics to call and post data into Slack for us. So click add to Slack. It's going to tell me which channel, ask me which channel to pick. Select that one. Click add incoming webhook. And on this page, just copy this URL. You're going to need that in a moment. Scroll down here, click save. That's it, you're done. Now, the next step is we need to come into App Dynamics. Under alert and respond, we're going to create a new HTTP request template. So click new, give it a name. Let's change this, we need to change this to a post and put the URL we copied a few moments ago in here. Under the MIME type, let's set this to application JSON. And in this payload, I'm going to paste a template which you can find on our App Dynamics community article. Scroll down, click save, done. Let's quickly test it by opening it again. And if I click test, and just add an event type here as part of this dummy test. As soon as I click run test, it's going to make that, that call to the URL we posted, which should show up in our Slack channel. So click run test, come back over here. We can see I've got a new sample health rule warning sitting in Slack. Now this is a real health rule violation. We could actually click on go to alert and app dynamics and that will open the deep link to directly deal with that. From here, you may then decide to add a comment saying, I'll handle this. So the other people in your team know that you're on top of this and looking into it. So now let's go back to the controller and wire this HTTP request template up to an actual health rule violation. We do that by creating an action. So make a HTTP request, come in here, Andrew app slack action, pick my template I've just created, click save. And then the last step is to wire this action to some events in App Dynamics. Create policy, give it a name, we're going to select some of the events coming out of App Dynamics and come to the Actions tab. Select my action, hit Save, Save. That's it, we're done. Next time one of those events happen within your application, it's going to pop up straight into your channel where you can start responding and working on that with your team. And that's it, that's all there is to it. The same integration is also available for other tools such as Microsoft Teams or ServiceNow. You can find more about these integrations by following the links in the description. I hope you found this tip of the month useful and if you've got any questions following this video, please feel free to reach out to your customer success representative or your AppDynamics account team. Thank you for watching.